Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the ninth day of World Championship ba Baseball in the Netherlands, 1986. And tonight we are in Harlem, where we will be seeing the Italians fight the Dutch for a possible fifth place in this World Championship. We're only halfway, we have one more week to play. And at bat for Italy, the first batter, Marco Mazzieri. He's the center fielder. He's been at bat 19 times and he has five hits. The second pitch, a high ball fouled out. So one and one for Maziri, and on the mound for the Dutch, Tony Cohen. Tony Cohen plays for the Pirates in Holland in the competition, and he's 20 years old on the mound, the starter for the Dutch team. The other players in the team for Holland in the defense are Frank Bos playing left field, or a designated hitter, Jutsel Branco, plays left field, Charles Urban is second base, Robert Knoll, shortstop, Gerlach Haldeman is catching. So the battery, Tony Cohen and Halderman. Bill Goot, first base, of course, back in the game for the Dutch. Marcel Joost, right field, Jackie Jokoba, third base, Marcel Kruid, center field, and of course, Tony Cohen on the mound for the Dutch. Here's the pitch. Oh, loses the ball, slipped out of his fingers. Wild pitch here by Cohen, and a ball called. Tony Cohen, quite nervous, nervous start for Tony. And you can see that in the way he plays with the ball, does not like the mound, he's kicking dirt around. And here we see the umpire, the head ump for tonight is Bill Lopina. At first base, Anibal Rosario. Second base, Dick Moss. And third base, Simon Hardys. And Maziri is still at bat. Plays for Grosetto in Italy, center fielder. Here's the hit to Jackie Jacoba. Throws it to first. Beautiful stretch there by Bill Foote. And that's one of his hallmarks there for Bill Foote. The beautiful stretch. But it was a foul ball, and Maziri will go back to the plate. And here we see Cohen. A bit disappointed because it was a beautiful play there by the third baseman of the Dutch national team, Jackie Jacoba, playing for Neptunus. Two and two for Mazieri. Here's the pitch. Nice hit and right into the glove of Jacoba. Line drive catch there by Jackie Jacoba, the third baseman. And Mazieri is the first out for the Italian team. And a bat now for the Italian team, we see Guglielmo Trinchi, the first baseman. Here we see it once more in the slow motion, right into the glove of Jacoba. So that's a nice start for the Dutch national team. Dutch national team playing the Italians five times before in world championships. The last time was in Cuba, 1984, and the Italians beat the Dutch 4-2. Here's the pitch, low outside. In the 1984 World Championships in Cuba, good pitch there by Cohen, not called, low outside. In those World Championships 1984 in Cuba, the Dutch national team was 13th and the Italians were 11th. Here's the pitch, high ball, caught and fouled there by Trinci, plays for Netuno in the Italian competition, and a foul ball. Counts for a strike, of course. Tony Cohen, as I said earlier, a bit nervous, kicking dirt around. Here taking the calls of his battery partner, the catcher, Gerla Holderman. in the Dutch defense. Here another wild pitch by Cohen. The Dutch defense, the keystone for the Dutch at shortstop. Robert Knoll and at second base, Charles Urbanus. The two players playing keystone for the Dutch national team. They also play keystone for the Tigers in Amsterdam. 
in the competition, so those two players know each other very well. We see a full count for Trinci. Here's the pitch. Cohen and a hit by Trinci between the third baseman and the shortstop. So we see Trinci at first base. And at bat now for the Italians, Roberto Bianchi, the catcher. Bianchi batting third for the Italians. And he's not batting third because he can't hit. Bianchi, a very dangerous batter for the Italians. 23-year-old player. Roberto Bianchi, here he is, the slugger. Four home runs in this tournament already. He's second after Ortestes Kindelan of Cuba with four, so together they're at first place. And Roberto Bianchi is the leading slugging slugger of the tournament up to now. He has a slugging average of 1,100. Here, a nice pitch there by Tony Cohen, a strike. The best Dutchman in the slugging list is Jutzel Branco. He's 16th with a slugging average of 619. So compared to Bianchi, whose slugging average is 1,100. Bianchi plays for Bologna in Italy, is the catcher. The pitch by Cohen, nice pitch. Beautiful drop there by Tony Cohen. Not called by the umpire. They had umpire Bill Lopina behind the plate. Man at first, one out, one strike, two balls. Here's the delivery by Cohen. Bit high. It dropped good, but it was too high over the plate, so called ball by the umpire. Nice drop, but it started too high. And we see Bianchi, Bianchi go to the first base. He's walked by Cohen. And at bat now for the Italian team, the left-hander, Giuseppe Carelli. Giuseppe Carelli, the number 14, plays right field. He's been at bat 26 times. He has 13 hits. That's a 500 batting average, two home runs. And he's second in the batting average list with 500. And he has 10 RBIs, Giuseppe Carelli, and that's second also in the RBI list of the tournament. And here's the pitch to the left-hander, fouled, and a strike to Carelli. And the fans, the 8,000 fans who were in Harlem today started to sing, and it was Hein Visser at the third base choir who was revving the people up at third base, trying to get the atmosphere back into Harlem Stadium. The pitch by Cohen. Good pitch right over the plate, and it's hit. Double play for the Dutch team to Charles Urbanus to Bill Hoge, and a double play by the Dutch national team. So that's three outs, and that's the end of the first half, the top of the first inning. Here we see it once more. The hit to Robert Knoll, the shortstop. He pitches it over to Charles Urbanus, touches the base, throws to Bill Goot. Beautiful double play there by the Dutch team. Three outs. One more time, the camera behind the outfield fence. There we see Charles Urbanus to Bill Goot at first for the double play. So no scorer in the top of the first for the Italians. And here we see a handful of the 8,000 fans. The Italian team now in the field. Mazzieri, Trinci, Bianchi, Carelli, Gambuti, Poma, Manzini, Bagliami, Mazzori, and on the mound for the Italian team is Cecaroli, Paolo Cecaroli. Plays for Rimini, and at the bottom of the second inning now for the Dutch national team at bat, the left-hander Robert Knoll, the shortstop, low inside, ball called by the umpire. 
in the first half or the second half of the first innings. Frank Boss, Jutzel Barranco, and Charles Urbanis were out, so three up, three down. And now we see Robert Knoll, good pitch inside, fastball, and fouled to the third base side of the stands. Count one and one. And here we see Robert Knoll and number 25, Paolo Cecaroli. Here's the delivery, low inside, good pitch. Bianchi keeps it in its place. Yeah, and even the pitcher says, that didn't look like a ball to me. But it was called ball by the umpire, so two balls, one strike for Knoll. Here's the pitch, high in center field. Easy catch there for the center fielder of the Italian team. The catch made there by Maggieri, Marco Maggieri, plays for Grosetto. See once more the pitch, fastball over the plate. Caught the low side of the ball. Robert Knoll hits a pop fly in the center field and Mazieri with an easy catch. So that's one out for the Dutch national team in the bottom of the second. No score. And at bat, Gerla Holderman. 21 years old, one RBI. He's been at bat 19 times with six hits. The catcher of the Dutch national team. Paul Smith, the catcher for years and years. And now it's the young group of the Dutch national team gets the chance to play. First pitch there, and a good catch, high in the sun, by the third baseman, Bagalilamani. Plays for Natuno. And an easy two out there for the Italian team. And now the first baseman in bat for the Dutch team, Bill Goot, two hits, been at bat nine times. Hasn't been playing very much lately for the Dutch national team because of an injury, but is now back in the team. Good baseball player. The number 18, and as we said earlier, Bill Goetz, known in the baseball world, especially in Holland, for his beautiful stretch at first. Bill Goetz is uh, third, ranked third in the home runs with two in this tournament up to now. And here the pitcher Paolo Cecaroli, the best Italian pitcher of the competition, the real Italian, not an American. And here a nice pitch inside and fields it himself. An easy pitcher to first baseman out there. And three up, three out once again for the Italian defense. And the Italians will be at bat once more in the top of the third. But first, the slow motion here. Bill Goat with the hit. Easy catch there for pitcher Cecaroli. And an easy out at first. First baseman, Trinci, plays for Natuno. Top of the third now. The Italians at bat and at bat for Italy. A drag bunt. Beautiful drag bunt, Branco, and he's out at first. Nice play there. By Jackie Jacoba, not Branco, sorry. We'll see it once more. Here, the drag bunt. Missouri, and the throw to first baseman Bill Goat, and he's out at first. So, a nice out there by the Dutchmans. And at bat now, Marco Macieri, the number one in the batting order, outside pitch called ball by the umpire. The first time he was at bat, the ball went to the third baseman, popped to the third baseman and out, and here's the second time at bat. Inside ball, two balls for Maziri. The pitch by Cohen, good pitch, and a called strike by the umpire. Pitch, three and one for Maziri. Three balls, one strike for Maziri. And there's one out. The out made by the third baseman, Jackie Jacob, on a drag bunt by Missouri. So Maziri is walked. And we see with one base loaded there, the first base, 
we get Trinci at bat again for the second time. Guglielmo Trinci, the first baseman, first time at bat. He had a hit. 28 times at bat up to now in this tournament. Eight hits, one home run, and he had one run batted in. And the runs batted in. Very important statistic figure there for most batters. Jacoba. And a beautiful play by Jacoba to Bill Goat. No room for the double. Not enough time because Jacoba had to run in for that ball. We see it once more. The hit here by Trinci in slow motion. Jacoba with not enough time to throw to second base. Throws it to first. Gets the out at first and at bat now for the Italians. Roberto Bianchi. Four home runs. Man at second. Here's the pitch. Low outside. Good pitch. And called ball by the umpire. The manager of the Dutch national team, Harvey Shapiro, the American, doing a very fine job with the Dutch baseball players and the assistant coaches, Henny Jenkin and Lane Volkerijk. Nice pitch there by Cohen, also called ball. And Lane Volkerijk, Volkerijk the father of Bart Volkerijk, and Bart Volkerijk in the Dutch competition, one of the best pitchers in the Netherlands. Here's the pitch inside. Two balls, one strike for Bianchi. Maziri still at second. The pitch, good pitch. Called strike, of course. Roberto Bianchi plays for Bologna, he's 23 years old is the catcher and here's the delivery by Cohen checking the man at second and it's very important that the runner does not go too far off the base because it's an easy score if Bianchi should hit the hit but he doesn't it's a ball called by the umpire high so three balls for Bianchi three balls for Bianchi and two strikes so full count for Roberto Bianchi Here's the pitch and the hit. High pop fly. Who's going to catch it? It's the midfield. No, the center fielder right in the middle. What we call a Texas leaguer. An easy hit there for Bianchi. Right in the middle. A pop fly between the second baseman and the center fielder. So Bianchi at, sec at first base with this hit with the Texas leaguer. And of course, Maziri from second base, rounding third. No time to hit him at the plate, so Maziri over the plate for the Italian team for one point. And the score now at this moment for the Italians, one to zero. The left-hander at bat now, Carelli. Giuseppe Carelli, they call him Beppe, or his mother calls him Beppe, so why shouldn't we? Carelli at bat now. He hit the ball in the double, first time up to the second baseman. Or he hit the ball to the shortstop and he was thrown out by Charles Urbanis at first, the first time up. The right fielder of the Italian team. Here's the pitch. 27 years old, looks good, the pitch. But it was called ball by the umpire. So three balls, no strikes, and two out for the Dutch team. Mizori and Maziri went out. And four balls there for Carelli. So Carelli at first. Bianchi at second. And at bat now, Gambuti for the Italian team. He's batting 357. 10 for 29. One home run. Eight RBIs, that's very important. So eight points scored by the Italian team, thanks to his hitting. And he fouls the first. One strike for Gambuti. Gambuti, known in the Italian competition as a power hitter. Very strong player. He's a designated hitter for the Italian team, so does not play in the defense. He hits for the pitcher. Here's the pitch. High, not far enough. And Marcel Kraut to the center fielder with an easy catch. So three outs for the Italians, leading 1-0. to 
after two and a half innings played. Here we see it once more, one to zero for the Dutch team. And now to the first, the top of the fourth inning. Top of the fourth inning, at bat, Gian Guido Poma for the Italians. Here's the pitch, here's the hit. Oh, and that is very far, put all his weight in the ball. There it goes, no room. Bounces off the roof of the clubhouse of the football team. That ball was at least 130, 135 meters. So a solo home run there by Poma, the second baseman of the Italian team. We see it once more. Good pitch right down the middle there. And a very powerful solo home run there by Gian Guido Poma. Cohen to the next batter. Good drop curve by Cohen. One strike. Stefano Manzini at bat now. Fielder's choice the first time up. This is second time in bat. Wild pitch there by Cohen. Some very important people on the stands watching Tony Cohen. 27 years old. The left fielder. And he plays for Parma in the Italians. And the black under his eyes is not part of his beard, but that helps against the sun, which was frequently shining in Harlem this afternoon. Tony Cohen. One ball, two strikes. The pitch by Cohen. Manzini hits the ball between third and short for the base hit. A good pitch by Cohen, but Manzini just touched it there with the bat. And with a single for Manzini. You see once more, good pitch by Cohen, good breaking ball. It rolls off the table, as they say. But Manzini hit it. And at bat now for the Italians. Ruggiero Bagilamani plays for Natuno. Third baseman. Here's the pitch. Good pitch outside, given strike by the umpire. And if Tony Cohen can keep it there on the outside, low on the outside and low on the inside, maybe, and just maybe, he could do a good job against this very powerful batting Italian team. Here's the pitch. High and fouled. So two strikes there for the third baseman. Three for 11, Bajamani, there's the pitch outside. Good pitch once more by Cohen. So one ball, two strikes for Bajilamani. Here's the pitch, good pitch, of course. Nice drop curve, beautiful pitch by Cohen. Strikes him out and Bajilamani back to the dugout. Struck out there by Tony Cohen. Beautiful pitch, beautiful drop. So this should help the pitcher, the young pitcher of the national team of the Netherlands. A mental support, a mental booster there. Striking Bajilimani out on a pitch like that. Gabriel Mazzori at bat now, two for 15. No home runs and one RBI. Outside, far outside, one ball. We still have Manzini at first. And here's the hit, oh, hit and run situation. Manzini going from one to second and he's rounding second base to play at third and Manzini safe at third. So a nice hit and run situation here by Missouri. He brings Manzini to third, so first, runners on first and third. See, once more, nice, beautiful, executed hit and run there. Manzini 
stealing second, but Missouri hitting the ball between first and second into right field. And that's a long throw to right from right to third. So Manzini safe at third and Missouri at first. Runners at first and third and at bat now. Maziri for the first time, a third time in the game. Low outside, there's the steal and save. Oh. Good throw there by the catcher, but um, the shortstop. Robert Knoll, a bit too far from the base, too far to hit the runner. No, it's just too late. A good steal there by Missouri. So, runners at second and third. At bat, Maziri. Here comes the pitch, called strike on the outside of the plate. The Italians is still leading by one. Cohen still on the mound. And we're at the top of the fourth inning. The signal's given by Holdem on the catcher. Cohen says yes, here's the pitch. Good pitch once more. And the breaking ball of Tony Cohen. The drop curve on the outside, doing very fine tonight. Doing its job very well. Keeping the ball away from the batter. Maziri. Here's the pitch. High. The ball in the gloves at the right height, but came in too high. Between the shoulders and the knees. Jackie Yakoba can't get the ball into his gloves. So an easy score there for the Italians. And Jackie Yacoba in the hot corner, having a lot of trouble there with the hit by Maziri. Manzini scores. The score is 2-0. to zero. I forgot the home run. And now it's 3-0, to because here we see Manzini score on the hit of Maziri off the chest of Yacoba. So an error there by the third baseman, Jackie Yacoba. Runners at first and second. And at bat, Trinci for the Italians. The pitch by Cohen. Low outside, good pitch, fastball. Eight for 29, Trinci, one home run. The statistics. Here's the pitch, and a strike. There's the breaking ball again once more. Drop curve outside, and as we said earlier, the best pitch by Tony Cohen up to now in this game. Trinci, one hit. Once out at first. And of course, one more strike given there by the umpire. So Trinci struck out by Cohen. Two outs. The score is three to zero. Good pitch. And at bat now for the Dutch, for the Italian team, Roberto Bianchi. First and second, runners at first and second, and Bianchi, the power hitter of the Italian team at bat. Batting third, the catcher, he received once more seven RBIs and four home runs. And that in a tournament like this are statistics you can be very proud of if they're behind your name. Here's the pitch by Cohen to Bianchi. Good pitch by Cohen, bit high and called ball by the umpire. He received once more. Beautiful breaking ball, a bit too high over the plate, but it was at the right height in the gloves. And the umpire, Bill Lopina, this is a good ball. And Lopina, the head ump, called it ball, but this was a strike. So, one ball, one strike for Bianchi. And you see Bianchi, very powerful arms, very strong batter. A lot of weight training in winter season. There's the pitch. Foul for Bianchi. Tony Cohen still on the mound for the Dutch. We're at the top of the fourth. And the bullpen pitcher for the Dutch national team is Bart Volkerijk, as I said earlier, one of Holland's best pitchers at the moment. The star reliever of the Dutch national team has done a beautiful job last year in the European Championships. Here's the pitch. 
Oh, Cohen thought it was a strike. So Roberto Bianchi here, two and two call. The signals by Haldeman, a one and a two. That's probably the drop curve on the outside. Here's the pitch. That was the pitch, the drop curve on the outside. Cold, wall, cold ball. So three and two with two outs for Cohen. Bianchi still at bat, and the score is still three to zero for the Italian team. And we're at the top of the fourth inning. Here's the pitch, the steal, and the foul ball by Bianchi. Hit Holderman in his left shoulder, next to the bodyguard. But Bianchi and Holderman, both catchers, know exactly how much a ball like that can hurt. So two and two, two out. First and second, runners on first and second. And a 3-0 lead for the Italian team. Tony Cohen still on the mound. And here comes the delivery to his battery partner, partner Haldeman. Pick off at second, safe at second. On deck for the Italians is Giuseppe Carelli. But with two outs, a possible third now. Here's the pitch. And he strikes Bianchi out with that low outside curveball. Good pitch there for Bianchi. A 3-0 lead for the Italian team. And here we see Cohen walk very slowly to the dugout of the Dutch team. Here we see once more that low outside curve of Cohen. A small jump in the game now. It's second bottom of the fifth inning. It's four to zero for the Italian team. So second, the bottom of the fifth, second half of the fifth inning, and a bat for the Dutch team now. The left-hander, Robert Knoll. He popped up to center field the first time up. And here, a good pitch there by Ceccaroli, the pitcher of the Italians, still on the mound. And Robert Knoll, the shortstop at bat. Here's the hit to the shortstop, and an easy out at first. Missouri to Trinci. We see it once more. The hit by Knoll right into the glove of Missouri, and he throws it to first baseman Trinci for an easy out. One out for the Dutch team, and at bat for the Dutchman Gerlach. Holderman. Gerlach Holderman, the catcher, six for 20, one RBI. Was hitting his left shoulder because of the foul ball by Bianchi, but is not hurt enough to leave the game. No problems with the left shoulder, and therefore we see Holderman at bat for the Dutch. One out. The score is still 4 to 0 for the Italians. And catcher Holderman at bat. Here's the pitch, high inside. So, two balls for Haldeman. And Cecaroli, the pitcher of Rimini, has some problems to control the ball. High on the outside. So, three balls for Haldeman. Rimini in the Italian competition, leading the competition now. They're not finished. They have 33 games left to play. And Parma is the champion of last year, is second. Haldeman, outside ball. No cold strike by the umpire. Nick the outside corner of the plate there. So once, three balls, one strike for Haldeman. Here's the pitch. High inside, ball four, and we see Holderman at first. And Holderman is the first player of the Dutch national team to get to the bases, and we're in the top, the second, the bottom of the fifth, the second half of the fifth inning. At bat for the Dutch now. Bill Groots, the first baseman. 
two home runs. Here's the pitch. Low outside. So hold him on the first. Bill Choth at bat. And pitcher Cecaroli having problems to control the ball for the first time in the game. Because up to now it's been three up, three out, four times for the Italian team. And hold them on, on the bases for the Dutch team. Bill Lopina, the head umpire behind the plate, the American. Anibal Rosario at first, Dick Moss at second, and at third base, the Belgium, Simon Hardis. Here we see Harvey Shapiro, the American coach of the Dutch national team. The delivery, ball high and ball four for Bill Goat. So, Holdemann goes to second. Bill Goat is walked and he's at first. First and second. Runners on first and second. And at bat for the Dutch now. Marcel Joost. And Cecaroli having problems on the mounds. The coach, the manager, Silvano Ambrosini. Ambrosioni. Here's the delivery. Fastball looked pretty good. Bit too high. So two runners on the bases for the Dutch national team and at bat Marcel Joost. Here's the pitch. High. Breaking ball, but too late. So over the plate, too high. Here's the pitch once again. Low outside. Strike called by the umpire. One on one for Joost. The signals given by Harvey Shapiro, two runners and batter. Cecaroli with the pitch. Too high. So Yost with two balls and one strike. 25-year-old Marcel Yost, here's the pitch. Fouls, no, it's a pop fly, it's very far to the fence and it hits the fence with one bounce. There's the play and hold him on to third. Marcel Yost with a nice hit in right field and hold him on to third. Coates to second and Marcel Yost to first. Hold him on going back to the base at second. Calcul calculating the possibility of a catch there by the right fielder, but it was no catch. It hit the fence, so Haldemann had to go to third. Bill Goat at second, Marcel Joost at first, and one out. So Jackie Jacoba at bat now for the Dutch. One out, base is loaded, plays for Neptunus in the Dutch camp competition. Here's the pitch. He hits it to the shortstop and the out made at second base, but Holdemann scores for the Dutch team. Marcel Joost is out at second. Jackie Jacoba, fielder's choice at first. So runners at first and third now. We see it once more. Jackie Jacoba on the first pitch. Pitch inside to the shortstop. Wanted to make a double play. Some problems there, but could make the out at second base to the second baseman of the Italian team. Poma. So, still a tight situation for the Italian team. Haldemann Hall, scored for Holland. 4 to 1 is the score. Runners at first and third. And at bat, Marcel Kruijt. Marcel Kruijt plays for Sparta Rotterdam. And now, very tight situation for the Italian defense. Here's the pitch, here's the hit to the shortstop. Beautiful play by the shortstop to second. And the out made at second base. And that was a very important out there for the Italian defense. Missouri. The shortstop once more. There the hit by Kruijt to Missouri on his left side for us, his right. 
and the out made at second base. And if the ball would have gone through to the outfield, the Dutch would have scored and have bases loaded with two outs. But now three outs. And no score for the Dutch. So the score remains four to one for the Dutch team. And we make a small jump once more in the game. The top of the seventh inning and at on the mound for the Dutch is Bart Volkerijk. And Carelli in easy out there. The first ball pitched by Bart Volkerijk in this seventh inning. Gambuti at bat. 10 for 31, eight RBIs, one home run. Gambuti. The first pitch by Volkerijk to Gambuti in the seventh inning, and that ball is going very far, caught by the wind. At least 130, 135, 140 meters. He really put everything he had into that ball by Bart Volkerijk. A nice pitch, a bit too high, right over the plate, and Gambuti put everything he had behind that ball, and that went very far. As I said, caught by the wind, the wind going out, the outside of the outfield, and there it goes. And no possibility. There's the ball on the roof. And here, Bart Volkerijk, the son of Lane Volkerijk, the pitching coach of the Dutch national team, and the Volkerijk family with a very, very long tradition in Dutch baseball. The star reliever of the Dutch national team having some problems with his shoulder and his neck, as he told me earlier this morning. At bat now, Poma. Here's the pitch. First pitch, good pitch by Bart, low outside. Plays by Otto in Den Haag, in The Hague. He's 187, and he's 29 years old. Here's the pitch, right to Bart, hits his arm, but he picks it up. Smart thinking there by Bart, and the out at first to Bill Foes. Nice play there by Bart Volkerijk. Caught the ball on his left hand. But was smart enough to pick it up and throw to first Bill Goats for the out. There we see it once more on his left hand, his glove hand. But he sees the ball in front of him, picks it up, throws it to first. And the out is made by Bill Goats. The assist is for Bart Volkerijk. And here we see it once more in slow motion as Manzini, Stefano Manzini, comes up to bat for the Italians. Smart thinking there by Bart. And here's the throw. So Stefano Manzini at bat now for the Italians. Manzini batting two for three up to now. Two singles, one in left field, one in center field. And at bat now for the fourth time. Bart Volkerijk in the fifth inning. Three hits by Carelli, Poma, and the same Manzini as we see here. And now in the seventh inning, Stefano Manzini, the bearded player of the Italians, up to bat. Three home runs up to now. And here's the pitch by Bart, high inside. Ball called by the umpire, the American, Bill Lupina. And here's Bart's second pitch. Oh, curveball picked up there by Manzini. Line drive home run by Manzini. Line drive it through the trees there in left field. And the ball didn't take very long to get out of the Harlem field. 120 meters, the fence. And a home run like that. See Manzini's powerful arms as he really hits that ball. The drop curve, much too high. Thrown much too high there by Bart. And line drives it right through the trees in left field. So Bart Volkerijk. Uh, having problems with his arm, was taken off by manager Harvey Shapiro and on the mound for the Dutch now. Ron Gioli, the left-hander, played four and a half innings yesterday against the Dutch Antilles. And here we see to Charles Urban is the ground ball, the out made by Bill Goat. So the assist for Charles Urban is the out made by Goat at first. He received once more. And that was the third out. in the seventh inning for the Dutch team. Here's some of the 8,000 in Harlem. Beautiful weather, nice sunshine. And we see Italia, Italy leading by five. The score is six to one. Tony Cohen on the mound for the Dutch and Anne Bat. 
Uh, sorry, not Tony Cohen. Ron Giroldi, the left-hander. The number 15, Ron Giroldi. And Giuseppe Picarelli on slag. At bat. Here we see it, Carelli, 14 for 29, two home runs, 10 RBIs, a great Italian hitter. Here's the pitch at the top of the ninth. And here's the pitch to the left-hander, left-hander to left-hander, nice pitch, started inside, went to the outside of the plate, called strike. Two and one for Carelli. And it's three and one for Carelli. We missed the ball there. And here's the pitch outside. So Giroldi walks Carelli. And Giroldi having some problems to get the ball over the plate now. But then again, he can't get too close with the powerful hitting team like the Italians. He has to work around the edges of the plate. And that, of course, does not give him very much room. Here's the pitch inside. And another ball. Elio Gambuti, the designated hitter. Gambuti with the home run in the seventh inning. But that was his first and only hit up to now in this game against the Netherlands. As we said earlier, the Cubans in 1984 in Cuba, the Italians were 11th, the Dutch were 13th. In South Korea in 1982, the Dutch were better than the Italians, they were 6th and they, the Italians were 10th, and in the 1982 World Championships, the Dutch also beat Italy in their game with 12 to 11, and that was the only time in the five World Championship games they ever played against each other that the Dutch beat the Italians. In the European Championships, in all the times the two have met, 19 times, the Dutch have won 12, and the Italians have won five times. But in total, the Dutch and the Italians have played 44 times. The Dutch have won 28 and have lost 16. 239 runs positive plus, and they had 196 runs against them. So all the pitchers of the Dutch national team in all the games against Italy, 196 runs, and that's not that much. Gambuti was walked. So first, runners at first and second. Here's the pitch, foul. And here we see Chiroli. Poma at bat now, and here's the pitch, inside and out. So Poma struck out by Giroldi. We still have runners at first and second, and at bat now, Stefano Manzini once again, the bearded Italian. Here we see the strike by Giroldi. Good pitch by the 26-year-old. plays for the Nichols, so he's playing a home game here in the Harlem Stadium. The Nichols play in Harlem, and here Manzini once again. Dangerous batter, the Italians, Manzini. He's three for four up to now in this game, and the last time up was a home run, the line drive home run through the trees. So with first, runners at first and second, Manzini at bat, one and one is the count for Manzini. 
Here's the pitch for Jolly outside. Ball two, strike one for Manzini. Looks a bit like Brutus, of Popeye and Brutus. Probably weighs the same. Here's the delivery by Giroldi, and Manzini hits that one. Oh, the left fielder, no room there. And another home run by Manzini. He puts it away for the second time in this game against Holland with two men on base. So two more RBIs there for Manzini and a home run. Two in this game, three more points. And the score is 9-1 to one for the Italians. Here we see once more the ball was not hit too good, not as good as the last time, but it was high. The wind caught it. There we see two pitchers in the Dutch bullpen. And the ball just went over the fence. Just is still 120 meters. And the score, 9-1. to one for the Italians in the top of the ninth inning. At bat now, Bagliamani for the Italians. Ruggiero Bagliamani, three for 14, only one RBI, not the best hitter of the Italian team, and he fouls this one. Here's the pitch by Giroldi, and another foul. So two strikes for Bagli Lamani. In this tournament so far, as we see, no balls, two strikes for Bagli Lamani. In this tournament so far, the Cubans unbeaten. Six, six games, 12 points. Taiwan and the United States. Both played six games, have 10 points, both lost one game. They're second and third, South Korea and Japan with eight points. South Korea has only played five games with eight points, so they have a chance to become second in this tournament, but they're playing the Colombians tonight. Here's the hit by Bagliamani and Jacoba. The ball hit his hand and not the glove. So, fumbling there in the hot corner, Jackie Yacoba for the Dutch team. Second time tonight. The only two errors made by the Dutch team so far. But Buggy Yamani at second now. And here's the pitch and hit by pitch on the arm. Missouri hit and that hurts. And that's the way it looks, Missouri having a lot of problems right on the uh, on it looks like it was in the back of the top of the arm yes just above the elbow hit by pitch and Missouri will not be going to first base but Costa will take his place in the ninth inning so Costa will go to first and Missouri with ice on the elbow to the dugout Chigaldi I'm sorry that's what he's thinking. The pitch by Giroli. Strike. Runners at first and second. The score is 9 to 1. And Maziri at bat. One strike. Here's the pitch. The hit by Maziri. High into left field. Barranco. And the easy catch by Barranco. The out. Two outs. Poma struck out earlier, so two outs for the Italian team. And at bat now, Trinci. Guglielmo Trinci for the Italians. The first baseman at bat now. And here we see Jutzel Branco once more with the easy catch in left field. Ron Giroldi. Still, still on the mound. And here we see Trinci. And an easy out there from Knoll to Groot. The out is made, so three outs. And the Dutch have one more chance at bat now in the bottom of the ninth. We see it once more. The hit from Trinci to the shortstop to the first baseman and the out. The third out, and we will be going to the bottom of the ninth inning. The last chance for the Dutch team.
And a new pitcher, Boscarol. Alfio Boscarol for the Italians. The Dutch national team with four more games to go in this tournament. They'll be playing Taiwan on Monday. They'll be playing Japan on Wednesday. Venezuela on Thursday and their last game is on Friday. They'll be playing Colombia. So Boscarol, the number 16 of the Italians now on the mound, plays for Grosseto. The reliever for the Italian team. Low outside, Haldeman didn't like it. The umpire did, so one strike for Haldeman. Low outside. One and one for Haldeman. Checkeroli. Six times, three strikes, six walks, three hits, and no errors made while he was on the plate. The statistics for Cercaroli before he left the mound for the Italians, because we see Alfio Boscarol for the Italians doing the pitching job. And at bat now for the Dutch, as Haldeman was walked, Bill Goot, the first baseman. Here's the pitch, low outside. And Boscarol having his problems was called to the mound before he could do any substantial bullpen action. It's the pitch, low into the dirt. Bianchi loses the ball and Holomon to second. Shapiro, Harvey Shapiro, the manager of the Dutch team, not too happy, trailing nine to one. A very important game for the Dutch national team in this tournament. Not hoping to become champion, but a fifth or sixth place would have been nice in a world championship. But they had to beat the Italians to become a fifth or sixth. It's not the end of the ninth inning, though, yet. And a lot can happen in one inning of baseball, because the pitcher may go wrong, because this is the second walk here by Boscarol. They're trailing by eight. No outs. And at bat for the Dutch team, Marcel Joost. Marcel Joost. Here's the pitch. Strike called by the umpire. Runners at first and second. Marcel Joost at bat. As we hear the fans singing at third base. And here, a nice hit and no room. Very difficult ball there for Buster Roll. Had to make a very tough turn to get somebody out. The third baseman coming in to field the ball, so nobody at third for Haldeman. He received once more. It hit the dirt. Boscarol to the ball. The third baseman not at his base. Nobody at the base, so Haldeman couldn't be thrown out at third. And so, an infield hit for Joost. Three bases now. The base is loaded. And at bat for the Dutch, the number eight, the third baseman, Jackie Jacoba. It wouldn't be the first time in the history of baseball that an eight-point difference was made good in the last inning. And as they say in many languages, the ball is round. Here's the pitch outside for Jacoba. Boscarol to Jacoba.
And another ball, Jakoba at bat, not taking the pitches, knowing Boskarol is having a lot of troubles to control the ball, to get the ball over the plate. So Harvey Shapiro probably telling Jakoba, even if it's a strike, don't take it, because he needs a lot of pitches. And the ball right through the glove there of, of the catcher, Bianchi. And Gerla Haldeman scores the second point for the Dutch team. Here we see it once more in the glove, but right out again. One of the leather laces of the glove broken. <laughs> nice to see how Bianchi was surprised to see no ball in the glove. And here, one of these poppers up in the infield and not caught by the second baseman. And an infield hit by Jackie Yakoba. So once more, the base is loaded for the Dutch team. The score is 9-2. And at bat, Marcel Kruijt. No outs. Base is loaded. And the seven-point difference for the Italians. Here we see once more. Very high bouncer there by Yakoba. And the second baseman tried to field the ball, but couldn't get it into the glove. So Marcel Kruijt at bat now for Holland. Here's the pitch outside. Good stop by Bianchi. Marcel Kruijt plays for Sparta, Rotterdam. The center fielder was walked the last time up. Here's the hit and foul. And the hit right to the pitcher and the double play there by the Italian team. Marcel Kruijt hits the ball right back to the pitcher to Boscarol. Here we see it once more right into the glove of Boscarol. He throws to second base and a very important play there by the Italians, the double play. Because now only a runner at third and two outs. Paul Smith now at bat for Frank Bos. Frank Bos. The designated hitter, not hitting anything for the Dutch in the, team, in the game against Italy, was substituted by Paul Smith. And Paul Smith starts with the hit through center field. And Marcel Joost from third to home plate for another point for the Dutch. So 9-4 to four now. Only a five-point difference, but two outs already for the Italian defense. Jutsel Baronco. Plays for Neptunus in Rotterdam. Here's the pitch outside. Baranco, usually a pitcher, plays left field, but is also a good infielder. There's the hit into the right field. And a beautiful hit there by Barranco. Paul Smith is still at second. I would have thought he might have gone to third base for the hit and run, because here's the hit by Barranco. Smith a bit too late to the second base, so no room for him to go to third. Runner is at first and second base, two out, and at bat, Charlie Urbanis, Mr. Baseball of the Netherlands, and we have another pitcher for the Italians. Radaeli, Roberto Radaeli. An earned run average of 2.250. And here is Leen Volkrijk, the father of Bart Volkrijk, the pitching coach of the Dutch national team. And here is Charles Urbanis, takes his first strike. The second baseman, Charlie Urbanis, will be stopping with stopping playing baseball for the Dutch national team, together with Thijs Vervaart and Heidse de Vries of the Dutch team. Too low. So one and one for Urbanis. Here's Shapiro. The score is nine to four. And if Urbanis hits the ball the way he can, the way he should, at a moment like this, 
it might be an open ball game. The signals by Bianchi to the new pitcher, Radaeli, and a timeout called by Urbanis. The physical education teacher plays in Amsterdam, takes the pitch, no pitch called. Two and one for Charles Urbanis, two out for the Dutch team. Runners at first and second. Here's the pitch. Inside, called ball. Three and one for Charlie Urbanis. The two Bologna players, the pitcher and the catcher, the battery of the Italian team. And a strike called by the umpire. So, full count for Urbanis. And we're going to take it all the way now with two outs. Charlie Urbanis at full count. Here we see the pitch once more. Beautiful pitch. Good strike there. And Radaeli, the pitcher also of Bologna. Here's the pitch. And a high ball in the left field, an easy catch by the left fielder, Stefano Manzini. The Dutch national team loses to Italy with 9-4, to four, and the Italians going for fifth place in this tournament. And here we see it once more, the fly ball into left field, caught by the left fielder of the Italians, Manzini, 9-4 to four for the Italians. Europa Television will be bringing a lot more baseball this week, so tune in. Thank you for watching tonight. My name was Richard Rietveld. Thank you for being with me. And for now, good night and bye-bye.